What's going on everybody fishing the odds? Just got out, doing some spring and fishing in the channel. Some early stuff. It's like middle of March right now. But uh, Matt was kind enough to invite me on his boat. Say hi Matt. Hi. Everybody, everybody's waiting. And then I got Kelly over here. First time out this year. Yep. So we're gonna do a little video for you guys. Getting started for springers, what you're gonna need and how you're gonna do it. And uh, just some of the options for you guys. So stay tuned on that. For now we're gonna get our gear in the water and then uh, we'll get back to you later. Subscribe. guys today I just kind of wanted to talk about the setup a little bit it's early spring or fishing it's the middle of March right now um, a lot of you guys are out there looking for that first fish and uh, that's what we're, at, we're out here doing today Matt invited me out but uh, I just wanted to go over the setup real quick to help some of you beginners and some of you other guys that have been doing this for a while just to uh, get started and what, what I'm gonna be doing for the duration of the season okay so first and foremost I'm just running the cast king rod this is not important you can buy a ton of different rods they are going to work for this. Somewhere between 9 and 10 feet, 10 and a half feet. I generally like the shorter end of the rods. This is a 9 foot, 10 to 20. So, <clears throat> braid, not that important also in my opinion. Cast King braid, this is super affordable. This is 50 pound and it's not like some of these braids out there that cost $4 million. It's actually an affordable braid and it does a trick. So, I got that going down to... Check this out, these pre-made cold water strong um, anti-main line twist because of this plate ring right here. Bumper leaders. Going to my short bus 360 flasher. This is the panty dropper. It's got a good name, catches fish, etc. And then the ticket, guys, the ticket. This is what I'm gonna be running all season. Give me a second. Tron spinner, okay. I'm gonna be running prawn spinners all season. So I have a single hook up here. This is a one knot going to a uh, treble dropper. Now this dropper, th those fish, they like to short bite it and bite those heads off a lot. So I like to have that dropper in there to pick up those uh, short strikes, right? So I'm running uh, prawn spinners. The company am I choosing? Running those Millennial Coon Shrimp, guys. I'm gonna be running these all season, basically from now till, till the season's over, so. Um, I'll take these all all around with me. I'll take them to Drano. I'll take them everywhere I go. So Millennial Coon Shrimp, they're back, and I'm excited about it. So we're doing that right now. We're just trolling at whatever speed it is to get these 360s to pump one one thousand to one thousand. That's our troll speed. So I don't have a boat this year, so you guys are going to be seeing me out with uh, with Matt quite a bit and a couple other guys. Matt likes IPAs, so we'll get along just fine. So yeah guys, that's the ticket. Simple, gets the job done. I don't fish herring, I honestly, I don't. A lot of guys fish herring, they have their success. I'm kind of lazy, I like to throw a prawn spinner on there and get the job done with that, so. Hit that subscribe button, and uh, hopefully we have a fish in the video for you guys. So that's the setup. Trolling away, trolling away. Fishing. You excited for springers or what? Waiting for this rod to go off. We'll be waiting a long time. Just putting our first couple hours of mini in today. No springers yet, guys. A uh, couple, another pass here or so, and then we're running out of light. So, hopefully, the, these little rod setups and things like that helped you guys get started for this uh, early springer stuff. Um, I think there's going to be a lot of springer opportunity out there this year. So get out and make it happen, guys. So hit that subscribe button, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.